assalamu alaikum everyone i welcome you all to the second lecture uh, in the last lecture we saw this drawing i told you earlier that our purlins are going to be in this longitudinal direction and they will support the corrugated sheet uh, coming on top of them uh, before continuing further i want to clari clarify a few things here uh, different engineers prefer different modeling techniques uh, so you cannot say that one particular engineer is uh, right or wrong uh, like some engineers prefer to model coal form steel and purlins in their main model some prefer to only consider their loads in this model and then design them separately so both approaches are correct I sometimes uh, design uh, and model purlins in the same model and sometimes I design them separately. So that depends on the structure and uh, if my structure is way too complicated and I cannot afford to you know model all the purlins in that structure so I usually avoid them. Uh, okay and before assigning purlins to our model I also want to uh, tell you that different cold form steel purlins are already available in market and their technical data sheets are available. So uh, we usually assign the materials from those technical data sheets and assign the uh, dimensions of the purlins from uh, their already given properties which are uh, standard sections available in the market. So we are going to define this material they are using this grade SQ50 uh, material in their purlins so we are going to assign the uh, same in our model so let's get to it we will go to define just like before I, I will go to materials and uh, I will click on add new material here our material is cold form steel so I will change it to cold form and uh, you can see in this one the material is A653 and SQ50 uh, which is this default material already available in our SAP model I can add it and uh, check its material properties the yield stress of uh, this material is 344 megapascals and tensile stress is 448 megapascals so we will keep them as it is i will click on ok and to add the purlins let's select uh, a section from these available sections in the technical data sheet so let's go for uh, 200 depth purlin and 2.5 mm thickness so i think this one will be fine uh, depth is 200 and width is 60 and thickness is 2.5 and the lip depth is i think 16 yes so i will go to define section properties frame sections previously uh, we imported the already built-in properties built in sections from a uh, sap now we are going to define our own property and assign all these dimensions to it so let's go add new property i will click on cold form steel from this menu uh, normally channel sections and z sections are used for cold form steel so for this one we are going for z section and we are going to assign z 200 by 2 by 60 by 16 uh, these values are in meter so to keep it simple I am just going to first change my units to millimeter and then reopen this window so change your units from this menu change to millimeter go to define frame sections and modify these properties now so this was in depth was 202 and width is 60 thickness is 2.5 
radius i can just keep as 2 mm lip depth 16 and angle is i think it was um okay both angles are available either uh, 90 degree or uh, 45 degrees for this one i will keep it as 90 degrees click on ok now i want to add the purlins at uh, one meter distance between them uh, so the spacing between purlins will be one meter center to center i need to divide these members at uh, one meter interval so i have selected these beams go to edit edit lines divide frames here i will type in 10 and click on apply now it has divided uh, my beam into 10 equal parts so i will add uh, 10 equal parts and with one meter interval you can check the dimensions of th uh, this by going to view measure line and if i want to measure the dimension between any two points i will click on first point and second point and it says the length is thousand millimeter between these two points uh, which is equal to one meter so now to assign the purlins I, I will go to draw frames select z purlin which i already defined then click on this point instead of you know def uh, assigning each and every purlin separately i just assigned one and i'm going to replicate this along other joints as well i will click uh, control plus r i will pick two points on model from this point to this point and i uh, it has automatically picked up the distance as thousand millimeter and i want to keep as nine number i want to replicate them nine times so i have typed in nine here then click on apply and it will automatically replicate the purlins up to this point so this way you can increase your modeling speed by adopting these uh, fast uh, faster and quick options uh, now our purlins are assigned but uh, this beam is divided into these uh, smaller portion i want to keep them keep it as a single beam so i will select them all I have selected all the segments by dragging my mouse from left to right and I will go to edit, edit lines and join frames. I usually uh, most often follow this divide and join option. So I have assigned a shortcut key to this which is control plus one in my case and control plus two for join in my case you can uh, define your shortcut keys from uh, uh, this option you can go to options and then go to customize keyboard shortcuts here you can select edit lines and see divide frames i have already assigned the key of control plus uh, uh, one and for join frames i have kept it as control plus two you can assign from this option like if i want to assign control plus three to this i will just type in control three and it will uh, go to assign so for now i'm just cancelling it okay now our purlins are assigned i'm going to assign the supports I have selected all the joints go to assign joint restraints and uh, multiple number of options are available I'm sure you must be aware of uh, these fixed supports hinge support roller support I'm not going to go into the details for this structure I'm going to assign fixed click on apply and ok uh, now our main steel structure is already uh, good to go but we haven't yet assigned the loads to our structure 
for that you need to define the load patterns go to define load patterns by default dead load pattern is already available in the list i will type in one more load pattern which is live load i will keep it uh, that i will change the type to live and click on add new load pattern uh, there are al uh, also wind load earthquake load and different type of load patterns available in this drop down menu which we are going to cover in uh, later lectures uh, just click on ok and to assign the loads i need to define an area section first so click on define section properties area section and then add new section and i'm going to assign a uh, plate thickness of 2 mm let's say the corrugated sheet thickness is 2 mm so it will automatically assign the dead load of that corrugated sheet based on these material properties so let's just keep it as 275 click on ok keep it as shell thin our uh, area is already defined now to add the area i will just turn off my grid for now uh, you can hide the grid lines by clicking uh, by pressing ctrl plus d on your keyboard and uh, i can either assign the area by going to this 2d option at this level or you can draw in 3d by either selecting this draw poly area option from the side menu or you can go to draw and draw poly area uh, just select this option and make sure you are drawing your area in anti-clockwise direction uh, this way it will keep the z direction in the upward as positive i will click on all the four joints in anti-clockwise way and to complete the area i will just click i uh, uh, sorry double click anywhere on the screen and it has already uh, drawn this area so to make this area visible i need to go to select uh, set display options the shortcut command is control w go to general options and click on fill objects and apply now our area is visible to apply the live load which we defined uh, we need to know what is the value of live load for that uh, we can go to euro code and uh, uh, this is a, a euro code one and uh, in the euro code one three categories of different roofs are defined uh, our case is this roof H which uh, which is roofs not accessible but only for normal maintenance and repair in our case also the roof is not accessible Eurocode 2 suggests any value between the range of 0 kPa to 1 kPa or the point load value of 0.9 kN to 1.5 kN and they have also recommended the value of 0.4 kN per meter square uh, or 1 kN as point load we are going to follow 0.4 kN per meter square for uh, this case I am going to select my area go to assign then area loads and I am going to select this third option you can also use this second option uniform shell but I want to assign all my load to uh, these frame objects the, the reason for this is that we usually don't design the shell objects or this uh, steel sh uh, plates in SAP, to, uh, SAP 2000 so we are going to distribute our load to the members only so if I click on this option we will select our load pattern to live we will keep the load direction as gravity and uh, load distribution as one way or two way so in this case uh, we already know that uh, the purlins are resting in the log intuitive direction so the load from sheet 
will only be transferred to the purlins in one direction so for this particular structure i will keep it as one way and to change the units i want to assign 0.4 kN per meter square change the units to kN meter from this menu and assign 0.4 and click on apply now my loads are already assigned to the frames but they are not visible so let let us check if they are uh, assigned correctly or not so for that go to display object load assigns area select live load pattern here and go to this last option click on apply and in our case the loads are not pro uh, properly applied to the purlins uh, so to change that i need to change the local axis of this area object i will select this option go to assign area and go to local axis type in 90 degree here and click on apply now if i show the loads again and now you can see they uh, they are applied correctly and in one direction only uh, they are applied to the purlins the center purlins are taking complete load as they are supporting the full span the last members are taking only half of the load as there is only half of the span uh, uh, supported by this member now the loads are assigned and uh, our support conditions are also assigned i think uh, that is enough for today and inshallah we are going to analyze our structure and then design it in the next lectures so see you all uh, and take care allah hafiz